Do we have uh, public comments? I see Cheryl. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Wonderful. Wow. Okay. So my first question. Creekside. Um, it was said that he has eight ERs, but he's being billed for 8.5 now. And I don't understand how he can be billed for over the eight when he only has eight. So can that be explained? Yeah, so as I discussed in doing the full ER account workup of all of the accounts in whole and um, kind of addressing Pat's question of the one-time forgiveness issue is that some of the parcels have been discovered that they're using over. This isn't you know, anything new to customers or the district. And um, the ERs have been purchased, so there will be a program that the district institutes as the one-time forgiveness, where we take unused ERs from one parcel and put them over onto another parcel. And that will be done just one time. And this is because previous boards and the way that they were operating is they allowed transfers to go all over the place. And, you know, we don't know why they were done um, and when they were done. Um, the only thing we can do is move forward and we're going to document them accordingly. We have told him that uh, this will happen one time and any time any new infrastructure is created on any parcel, it, the district needs to be notified and it needs to be documented in writing or fines and penalties are imposed. But um, we, now yeah, we will work with him to decide. Uh, which LID number those ERs will be taken from and assigned to this one. So that is a process that will be more outlined as we move forward with all of the accounts being reconciled, but we want to make sure that the district is at least bringing in the money for those ERs currently being used. So we will charge for it now and establish and finalize the concrete plan for the ER transfers. I, I totally get it now. Now that you explained it, Jesse, I understand what you're saying. And um, it's great that the meeting was uh, amicable. That's wonderful. So yes, thanks for explaining that. Uh, my, ne my next question is, um, it was stated that, the, that Kyle had a two and a half hour meeting with Lake Stone. Just can you clarify if, um, Whatever Kyle bills for the two and a half hours, is Lake Stone paying it or Baby Ward and Sue are paying it? Um, Bayview pays for it up front, and we've been in contact with Lake Stone Development, and Gordon Dobler, their engineer, has requested the invoice. So they will pay, they'll pay for the two and a half hour meeting? Correct. Right, because then, then there's another meeting um, mentioned today that that will happen, and I assume that billing will also get paid for. So that's great. And um, no, that's really good. Um, and that's last question. Uh, oh. Cheryl, just to enlarge on that, we are having them sign an yeah, agreement. Yes. $5,000 deposit. So from now on, we will have money. Jesse won't have to, you know, bill them. We'll just take it out of the deposit. Oh, excellent. Uh, yes, and kudos for doing that and um, sticking to it. And he has no problem paying it, I'm sure. Um, yeah. um, so one of my last question is, just so I understand it. So uh, somewhere on the budget, I saw um, 224,000 um, from Keller Engineering, but it was gonna be asked to be reimbursed. So, I, so Jesse, I saw it. So does that mean that, um, to date, Keller has billed you guys two hundred and twenty four thousand. I know you're getting reimbursement, but is is that what that meant? Um yeah, for the water improvement project, uh, that is where our current invoices are for that, and that is uh, currently brought us to the sixty percent design phase and working towards ninety percent design phase. Excellent. And how much